Hi guys, Brendo here from Advanced Radio and today we'll be going through a quick instructional video on your new Smoothflight RRS system. If we pan down here, you can have a quick look at it. So you've just pulled it out of the box, you've set up your receivers, you've just plugged a battery in and you want to know what it all means. So right now we have two excess power Life V batteries plugged in and they're actually showing up on the screen as 6.6 .6 volts here and 6.5 volts. This little uh, servo in the middle is actually a regulator voltage, which we'll go into how to set up that in a minute. You've also got your milliamps total. This is how much you've pulled out of both batteries since you've last charged them and reset the bus. The last milliamps, so how many milliamps you've pulled out since you've turned the bus on. A flight timer and a flight number or flight counter. So with all this information, what we want to do is first set up the power. Go into the total milliamps screen by pressing on the screen. And this little icon here that says power, press on that and you can see a couple of different buttons you've got return reset milliamps reset flight timer reset milliamps will reset the milliamp counter we recommend you do this after you charge your batteries to full reset flight timer is to reset the flight timer on the front screen here we've got the battery capacity in milliamps we've currently set it to 3000 but if you pan over to our battery you can see we're using 3400s so what we do is we just increment that up to 3400 Okay, and that tells the system those two little indicators on the front um, when it's fully charged will be 100% and as you use them those indicators will actually drain down. Here you can see it says servo voltage selector at 6 volts. You've got a blue icon here saying 6 volts and a grey icon here saying 7.4 volts. Because we're using Life E batteries which are 6.6 .6 volts as you can see here, you can only regulate down with this system so we can only select 6 volts. If I press that button comes up a little warning screen making sure that your servos can use can handle the six volts hitting yes and the regulator will go to work now you're not going to see much of a change because we're already regulating to six volts but if I try and hit the 7.4 button you'll notice that nothing happens okay if we were using lipos or lions that would light up and you'd be able to regulate down to 7.4 volts come out of that screen back to the main screen and you can see we've got the two batteries here these are the indicators that I was talking about before. As your batteries drain, you'll notice that this one's drained just a little bit there because we've used more batteries out of this one. Now, with the RRS Smooth Flight system, all of this information will actually turn up as telemetry data on your radio. We've got it set up on a Futaba system here, and you can see the voltage of both the packs and the milliamps used out of each pack there. Stay tuned for more instructional videos on the RRS system.